Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. So So, I want to share a quick story time with you guys. So, I just came back from Walmart and at, at least 5 people came up to me while I was in the store and told me, "Oh, I love your haircut. You're so beautiful." Oh my goodness, I always want to cut my hair, but I can't bring myself to do it, but you inspire me to do it. But you guys, it's so ironic because the first time I cut my hair off, I hated it. I hated the way I look. I hated everything about it. I constantly wear a wig. I would not go outside with my hair like that. And my hair was actually damaged. I had to cut it off. But this time, I just wanted to do it because it was so freeing the previous time that I just wanted to do it this time. But... What I'm trying to say is you never understand how a compliment can actually actually make somebody day brighter. You know, you never know what somebody's going through. Maybe that person is going through a tough day or a hard day and they just want you, somebody to say something, you know? Maybe they don't have family that does it or whatever the case might be. You never know what people is going through. And first of all, I have to say this. I feel confident with my hair my with no hair you understand me I am happy about the way that I look and everything like that but it was really and truly refreshing that so many people came up to me and say that to me and my boyfriend was with me so I was like patting myself on the shoulder a little bit but you know what guys I am so so appreciative of that sometimes people just make your day and my day was made just like that you guys even though I don't need assurance from anybody to feel confident in my own skin but it was really refreshing so when you see somebody on the road if you feel like it tell them how beautiful they are today tell them how beautiful they are today so that's all I wanted to say so guys yeah. look what we have today my boyfriend ordered some Jamaican goodies off Amazon so they're from Royal Caribbean but we have some Jamaican spice fruit bun Ooh, I love that with cheese and then we also have some sugar buns this is very nostalgic to me because when I was in high school I always eat sugar bun and then we have some Jamaican bullet cakes Ooh, that's so good with cheese and then we also have some Jamaican coconut coconut bullet cakes these are like um, different from this one because I think we call these Toto in Jamaica I'm not sure I don't remember but this uh, this one has coconut in there and this one don't and then we just have some Jamaican auto bread I'm so excited you guys it's so hard to get Jamaican products in, in, in America and they're so expensive so when we order these online it's like a treat for us so I'm so excited so guys for dinner today I'm going to make Jamaican ackee and sawfish and I'm just going to use ackee in a can. I know my mama is looking at this video cringing because in Jamaica we just get ackee off the tree and just make it the organic way but here in America they don't have that so I have to use the ackee in the can and it just says Jamaican ackee, Jamaica ackee. And then also in Jamaica we use um, salted codfish but here in America I don't have that either. Um, I get it sometime, but I don't have it this time. So I'm just going to use this um, salted, salted fish fillets. And then we're just going to get cooking. Alright, so what you want to do is wash your salt fish or your codfish or whatever. And then you're going you're gonna to boil it to get rid of some of the salt. So I'm just putting it in a small pot and boiling it. And then over there what you're seeing is some dumplings. So... Jamaicans like boiled dumpling. It's not like the um, the Chinese dumplings that stuff. This one is not stuff. It's just flour, salt, and you knead it, and then you separate it, and then you make little small rolls like that, and then you boil it. And then I'm going to boil me a uh, plantain also. So this is what we're looking like. Over here, I just have my water going for the dumplings. And then, yeah, you guys. Okay, so this is what the hacky looks like 
if you have not seen Aki before, no, play, I don't know. If you're Jamaicans, I'm sure you know about Aki. I'm 100% sure you know about Aki. But if you're not, this is what it looks like. And fun fact, guys, it's a it's the Jamaican national dish. So once you have your salt fish all boiled, you can taste a little piece to make sure it's not too salty. I throw off the first set of water and then I put some more water on and boil it again. And then I'm just going to pour my aki into the water so it can boil a little bit with the salt fish. And just, I'm just, I'm just going to let that boil for a little bit. Then over here, I don't like a lot of seasoning in my aki. I just like to taste the, nat the natural um, aki flavor, flavor. So all I'm going to put in there is just a little bit of chopped onion and some green pepper in a little bit of time and then I'm just gonna put some salt and pepper and that's gonna be it and some spicy pepper also because I like my aki to be so spicy okay guys so this is where we're at now so now you need to separate the aki from the salt fish again and then we're just gonna put it together in the pot so what you need to do is what I do is I pour a little bit of oil in the pot not too much and then we're just going to throw our, our veggies in. And just kind of like saute the veggies. Just cook them a little. Okay, so once you stir fry your veggies, you want to break your salt fish apart a little bit till they're like smaller pieces, and then you just pour that in. And stir fry these two together. After you finish stir frying those together, then you just want to go ahead and add your aki in. And then you want to stir fry these together also. Just combining them, all the ingredients together. Okay, so after that is all combined, I'm just going to add me some red, crushed red pepper um, flakes. I'm just going to add, just had the pepper to taste. We like spicy in this also. I had a lot. Just going to put a little bit of oregano on this. Oregano. Because I like oregano. And then last, I'm going to add me some black pepper. And then we're gonna stir fry again okay so this is what we're looking like right now you guys it smells so good it's a very simple but it's a very it's art it's an authentic Jamaican dish very simple it's really tasty very delicious and we love it here <laughs> okay guys so this is the finished product so I like to put butter on my dumplings because it's just had a little bit of flavor and then um, I have my haki and sawfish and my boiled plantains. This is so tasty you guys. It's simple but it's a simple, very delicious, authentic Jamaican meal and I absolutely love it. And of course I'm just going to be having my bottle of water. So. Hey you guys! So guys, I'm gonna end the video here, the vlog here. Thank you so so much for watching and please subscribe and thumbs up and please share my video and thank you to all my new subscribers. I really truly appreciate you but your girl is gonna have a shower and go to bed now so see y'all in my next vlog. Bye!